Over the weekend, at least 40 people were killed in the district of Duma by a chemical attack, among them women and young children. It was an atrocious attack. It was horrible. You don't see things like that as bad as the news is around the world. You just don't see those images. President Trump says the U.S. is studying the situation closely and in the next two days will make a decision about how to react. We are very concerned when a thing like that can happen. This is about humanity. We're talking about humanity. And it can't be allowed to happen. Here in New Hampshire, local Syrians have a reaction of their own. They shouldn't suffer or die like this. Nadia Alawa is part of an organization called New Day Syria, an organization in Derry created to help families there. Can you imagine having lived under siege, under bombings, and then you get taken out by chemical weapons? It's, it's unbelievable. They were actually even children that had been crawling up on the stairs and they were found trying to get away from the smell. She and others now looking to President Trump to take immediate action. The U.S. cannot take this lightly at all considering the influence of Russia that's working closely with Assad in Syria and Iran obviously and, and China. Moving forward, members of New Day Syria say they will do what they can to help families in Syria. The Syrian government denies carrying out chemical attacks. Live in studio, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.